Welcome to the Survival Olympics of the natural world. Today, we're going to take a close look at five of the most invincible creatures on Earth. So tough, even the apocalypse would send them an invite to chill afterward. And while humans struggle to find their keys or remember where they parked, these insects are out here thriving in a world that's constantly trying to kill them. First up, let's talk about the OG survivor, the cockroach. Humanity has spent centuries trying to eradicate these little guys, but cockroaches are out here laughing, taking notes and thriving under our noses. You think a little raid is going to stop them? That's just a free bath. Cockroaches can survive for up to a week without their heads. That's right. While humans stub a toe and go down like a sinking ship, cockroaches can be headless, wandering around like they're on a zombie apocalypse audition. Cockroaches don't need much. Food? Optional water. Hey, maybe once a week. These little hustlers have been on Earth for over 300 million years, watching entire species evolve and go extinct, like it's just another Tuesday. Cockroaches start their lives as tiny eggs, hatching into nymphs. They don't go through that annoying puberty stage like humans. No awkward braces or voice cracks. They just shed their skin a few times and boom, fully functional adults, ready to outlast anything you throw at them. Imagine if humans could shed skin to skip teenage acne. It's not fair. Cockroaches have even been used in robotics research. Scientists are studying their movement to create robots that can navigate disaster zones, just like cockroaches do. So the next time you squash one, remember, that could have been the future model for search and rescue robots. Way to go, humanity. And while we're out here ordering food on delivery apps, cockroaches are making gourmet meals out of crumbs under the couch. The ultimate minimalists, they're outliving landlords, rent hikes and eviction notices like they've got an unbreakable lease to earth. Next up, meet the diabolical ironclad beetle, or as I like to call it, nature's armoured tank. Forget survival of the fittest. This beetle's motto is a survival of the toughest. If cockroaches are the apocalypse planners, this beetle is the bouncer, and no one's getting past its door. This beetle's exoskeleton is so tough it can survive being run over by a car. Yeah, a car. Meanwhile, we humans are out here crying when we get a paper cut. And let's not even mention stepping on a Lego. These beetles could walk across a Lego highway without even flinching. These beetles are so tough that scientists are studying their exoskeletons to design stronger materials for aircrafts and body armor. Yes, we are now relying on beetles to design better fighter jets. The irony is real, folks. The ironclad beetle doesn't need to grow armor. It's born with it. These beetles start as larvae, hanging out under bark, munching on fungus, and just vibing. Once they're all grown up, they basically become indestructible, like those video game characters that unlock God Mode. If humans could borrow even 10% of this beetle's toughness, we'd have indestructible phones, unbreakable coffee mugs, and no more fragile egos. But nope, we'll just keep inventing iPhones that shatter if you look at them wrong. And now for the true reproductive champions of the insect world, fruit flies. If there's a party somewhere with ripe bananas, you can bet fruit flies will be the first to show up. And not just for the food, no, they're here to make more fruit flies. Fast. A single fruit fly can lay about 500 eggs in her lifetime. That's like the insect version of being your own reality TV show. You leave an apple out for two hours and suddenly there's a whole fly family reunion in your kitchen. Fruit flies go from egg to adult in about 10 days. Let that sink in. In less than two weeks, they go through an entire life cycle while we humans are still trying to get through the first chapter of a self-help book. Humans take decades to mature. Fruit flies get it done in a week. Fruit flies aren't just the ultimate party crashers. They also help pollinate plants and decompose rotting fruit. Plus, they're a key food source for other animals. Essentially, they're like the buffet line of the animal kingdom, constantly making sure nothing goes to waste. Can nature live without them? Honestly, probably not. Without fruit flies, tons of pollination wouldn't happen, and a lot of ecosystems would be thrown out of balance. 
So, yeah, turns out your least favorite kitchen guest is more important than you thought. Fruit flies are also the lab rats of the insect world. Scientists use them to study genetics, aging, diseases, and pretty much everything else under the sun. Want to know how humans age or develop certain diseases? Ask a fruit fly. They've basically been science's guinea pigs for over a century, and they didn't even need a Nobel Prize to feel validated. Humans are always whining about deadlines, but fruit flies are out here producing entire generations before we finish an episode of our favorite show. And you thought your family had too many kids. Next up, we've got the ultimate freeloaders of the insect world, bed bugs. If cockroaches are survivors and fruit flies are reproductive machines, bed bugs are those shady cousins who show up at your house, eat all your snacks and never leave. Bed bugs can live up to a year without feeding. Yeah, while humans are out here trying intermittent fasting, bed bugs are just taking naps, waiting for you to come back from vacation so they can feast on you like it's Thanksgiving. Bed bugs hatch from eggs and go through five nymph stages, molting after each stage until they're adults, ready to suck your blood. They're basically the vampires of the insect world, except way less attractive and infinitely harder to get rid of. Forget garlic and wooden steaks. Bed bugs laugh in the face of your pathetic insecticides. Now here's the kicker. Bed bugs have absolutely no known positive role in the ecosystem, nor do they contribute to human advancement in any way, shape or form. They are literally parasites living off humans and animals, contributing nothing except sleepless nights and an unrelenting urge to burn your mattress. If you ever find yourself running out of food in the post-apocalyptic world, sure, you can eat them. But honestly, who's that desperate? They're small, crunchy, and probably taste like regret. Humans like to think they're the top of the food chain. But when bedbugs are in town, they're the ones calling the shots. You're the walking buffet, and they're dining a la carte. And if you thought your bed was yours, think again. Bedbugs have squatters' rights. Good luck with that. And hey, leave us a comment below. Maybe tell us about that one time you tried to fight off a bed bug or panicked when you saw a cockroach. We could use a good laugh. You know, while we're out here surviving everything you throw at us. If you don't, well, let's just say we're always looking for new beds to crash in. It's nothing personal, but your mattress is looking pretty comfy right about now. Last, but definitely not least, let's talk about termites. These guys are the ultimate DIY home wreckers. While we humans are out here building houses and investing in real estate, termites are like, cool story, bro. I'm just gonna eat that. Termites can chew through wood, plastic, and even lead. Yep, they can munch on metal. Meanwhile, humans can't even open a pickle jar without pulling a muscle. Despite their destructive habits in human homes, termites are actually essential for the ecosystem. They break down dead plant material like wood and leaf litter, returning nutrients to the soil and helping forests stay healthy. They're nature's recyclers, ensuring nothing goes to waste in the circle of life. Without termites, dead wood and plant matter would pile up, making forests and grasslands unsustainable. So, as annoying as they are to homeowners, termites are pretty essential for the planet's ecosystems. They're like tiny, destructive gardeners that we can't live without. In some cultures, termites are already being eaten as a source of protein, and with the growing interest in insect-based diets, don't be surprised if one day termites end up on the human menu. High in protein, low in fat. Just don't think about them eating your house while you snack on them. Termites live in colonies with a caste system that includes workers, soldiers, and reproductive termites. The queen termite can live for up to 25 years and lay thousands of eggs every day. That's basically having a royal dynasty in your walls, and all the while, they're slowly turning your house into a pile of dust. Termites are out here living in their socialist utopias, with everyone having a job, while humans can't even figure out how to assemble an IKEA chair. And you thought your boss was demanding? Try being a worker termite. Those guys don't get a break ever. All right, humans, you've made it this far. Congratulations on surviving our little roast session. But if you want to stay on our good side and keep us from crashing your kitchen at 3 a.m., you know what to do. Hit that like button 
and don't even think about sneaking away without subscribing. I mean, do you really want to miss out on more insect wisdom and survival tips? I didn't think so. So, there you have it. Five of the most indestructible creatures in the world, making humanity look fragile and basic in comparison. While we humans are out here worried about Wi-Fi signals and overpriced coffee, these insects are thriving in the harshest conditions Earth can throw at them. They've seen it all and frankly, they're unimpressed. Sure, we humans invented space travel and the internet, but cockroaches, diabolical iron-clad beetles, fruit flies, bed bugs and termites, they're playing the long game. They'll be here long after we're gone, probably flipping through our history books, like, remember when these guys thought they were in charge? Good luck with that, humans. Seriously, though, if you want more content tougher than an ironclad beetle's exoskeleton, go ahead and hit subscribe. You'll thank us when we're teaching you how to survive the next apocalypse.